Yo, what's up, video bloggers? I hope everyone out there is doing good. Yo, my apologies for not uploading a vlog uh, last week. Or, I mean, was it two? Has it been two weeks? I don't know. Um, maybe it was just one week, right? Uh, I have to express something to you that since I got this concussion, um, I've had very, very little motivation to vlog I mean, deep down inside i don't want to lose my continuity vlogging and putting something out every freaking week uh it pissed me off that you know that i didn't put anything out and um i do have a really good uh collaboration vlog that i'm coming out with um i had such a blast doing it i don't want to talk too much about it because uh it was it was a really great time but uh, I just want to let you know, since I got this concussion, you know, I've, I've been I've been very, very different. Um, <laughs> it's fucking scary, yo. I've never, you know, let me tell you something, right? My entire fucking life, I've only had one fear, right? After I lost, after I was eight years old, after I lost my fear of the dark, after, after I saw my first dead body, I was like, well, there's nothing to death then, really. I mean, you know, there's, there's nothing to it. But I've, there's been one fear that I've had my entire life and that's been of losing my memory right and like I fucking was making grilled cheeses and I forgot them on the stove and then one day I was making ramen I think it was the same day and I forgot on the fucking so I'm like fuck I know like seriously dude like I, I'm I, I get pissed off at myself and I fucking hate it you know um I'm mad at myself. I mean, I I can't help what had happened. The concussion actually, uh, I don't know if people are, yeah, man, because you was like token or you were doing some drugs. I don't fucking do drugs. I don't drink. I don't fucking even drink coffee. Seriously. So what what it is, it's some kind of weird thing. You can look it up on, on the World Wide Web. It's, uh, it's called, it's like Mick. To euro something basically what it is is i think i did i explain this before i don't know i don't remember concussion so um i'm sorry i didn't mean i didn't mean to get mad at you i've been told recently that i've been getting really mad at people and that's because i've got a fucking head injury but um i'm sorry guys i love you um and i do love you uh but what was i saying um fuck uh, oh yeah, it's um, it's a uh, it's a uh, think micto urinal whatever the hell it is. Basically, what it is is when people urinate, okay, they um, either their blood sugar or their or their blood pressure drops very very dangerously low, and that's what causes them. They you know well the same. Well, I know that that's what I had because they they claim that people get um um. Uh, nausea and almost get this feeling of vomiting and and um, and uh, dizziness at the same time and then just black out so that's basically what it is and then my doctor's over here trying to tell me uh, yeah I need you to pee sitting down and I, I, I look at her and I'm like I, I like I was about to like fuck you I am not sitting down you trying to take my masculinity away from me or what I mean I can fucking handle peeing standing up like but uh, I mean I have been getting dizzy while stand uh, while standing up and urinating so uh yeah i mean i know she's looking out for me but at the same time it feels like you're trying to take my masculinity from me so anywho's tonight's vlog oh i just got really fucking dizzy fuck ah oh, bear at me gang bear with me ah oh, suck my fucking toe um ah the fuck was I gonna say? It's fucking hot, isn't it? Shit, yeah, it's hot, yo. So, anywho's, God, what did I put that on for? So, um, you know, I wanted to talk about something uh, pretty important um, to me, right? To me. Um, but I wanted to express it to you, right, um, like, I, like I said, you're gonna have to forgive me, right, I mean, if I thought I had a speech 
freaking problem before when I was vlogging, you know, with, with all my little stammers and stops and shit like that, it's, it's worse. At least 25% worse. Uh, so, you know, let me see here. <sighs> I grew up, okay, I consider myself growing up within the company of wolves, okay, and I've expressed this in past vlogs talking about when I was, like, when I was a kid, and, well, because I sp spent, like, a couple years of my life, of my, of my early infant life growing up, living in a car, uh, and my sisters, I always likened them to, to wolves, because if any time that I was eating, they would look at my, they would look at me, and if, if I looked like I was full, or if I looked I was disinterested, or I, if I looked away for a brief second, the two of them would just, <laughs> just pounce on my food, right? And, okay, now that's not the only, uh, word. That's not the only uh, way that I can adhere that to that, okay? So growing up, my family, we never, none of us, my dad, my dad who had, um, what's the word? Um, what's the fucking word? Uh, adopted. My dad who had adopted us, okay. Uh, him, my mom, my sisters, and my brother. We, none of us ever bullshitted each other, okay. And because we grew up really tough, um, we all, any, anytime somebody had something to fucking say, we said it, okay. We didn't talk about being real. We were fucking real, you know what I mean? Uh, it's like, you know, we, you know, it's like we weren't afraid to 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 just say things and i think there's a beauty in that i think i think there's a beauty and respect in that is because you respect the person enough to not fucking pussyfoot around or not a candy coated or you know uh or put it in uh softened terms you know what i mean and so like we were you know we were like that you know we were rough kids you know so uh but the one thing is that i've i've learned as of maybe like the last year and a half, is that because of that life that I have, because of the upbringing that I have, um, I have a hard time talking to people that aren't my family members that can't take shit the way that we talk. You know? Um, I mean, my dad taught me to never bullshit him. He taught me from the fucking beginning. If you try to bullshit me, boy, you better fucking run, okay? You better run because I will catch you and beat the shit out of you. Uh, it's true, you know? Um, and because of the way that he was and the way that I was, I was raised under that, when I, when I hear somebody talking, or like if I see somebody that I know is full of shit already, I can just, I can just smell it, you know. I can I can just smell it, just like how wolves smell fear. I can I can smell the bullshit reeking from you before you open your goddamn mouth. You're so like like people are so like I just I hate falseness, you know. I hate falseness where people have to like fucking prop themselves up and say yeah I'm, you know I'm this and shit like that. You know what? Go home, go home and go fuck yourself, really. So, anywho's, like I was saying, I've learned that I, you know what, to people who have said that they've had similar uh, experiences like me growing up, some of them grew up in the barrio, you know, and uh, so they said, yeah, man, don't, 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 don't worry about candy coating with me, but then when, but like when, when I don't do that, okay, when I'm genuinely being myself as I was raised, okay, this wild freaking punk, say it, mean it, do it, every, every single freaking thing you do in life, everything you, yeah, make it, make it matter, right, so, um, when they say to, you know, yeah, man, you know, you don't have to, you know, candy coat all my feelings and stuff, they get mad, it's like, what the fuck? You tell me to do one thing, and you know, I I instinctively always 
follow my instinct always and I, it's not a word I use a lot because it is very absolutist but I always follow my instincts um and so I've uh, you know I'll tell you something right now like I haven't been telling you something for the last five minutes right <laughs> all right um let me tell you something okay I don't care how slick you are, how much you can lie and stare somebody right in the face, because you can learn how to do that, okay? You, you can learn how to be a really successful liar. Well, I'll tell you one thing that does not lie, and it is energy, okay? And I've been, uh, I, I've been accustomed to being around people whose energies are exactly that, lying energies. Not only that, but it's almost like they're trying to protect me because they don't want me to know that they're upset at me because I treated them the way that they told me is okay. And then like when I confront them, I'm like, yo, just just tell me the truth, man. Like, you know what I mean? You know, yo, if that's it. So I've had to make my apologies. And on top of that, I've had to, I don't know, man. I just don't see. <laughs> Let me express something else to you, okay? I had to turn down a manager's job. Okay, a manager position job at at a university. Why? Because they wanted me. They wanted me to be something that. Nah, they wanted me to be something that I'm not. Okay, so this is a warehouse job. Okay, meaning bending, lifting, crouching down, all this kind of stuff. And then they wanted me to come to work wearing professional attire, like um, like dockers and slacks. And I fucking, if you know me, I fucking hate slacks. I like to shiv the bastard that fucking made slacks, really. I fucking hate them. But, um, yeah, just, just, ah. So, you know, I, I had, I had, I had, I had tried to bargain with them and say, hey, you know, I'm going to be in, I'm going to be doing warehouse activities and, and, and things. And I, I think I should be able to wear pants, you know, wear jeans, you know. And they're like, no, we can't do it. I said, well, you know, I, I, unfortunately, I can't take this job. And one of my friends was like, who, who that was it? It was Larry. He's like, Kaino, what the fuck is wrong with you? I said, I'll tell you what the fuck is wrong with me. I will not ever um, lie to myself about who the fuck I am. I won't, I won't allow somebody else to uh, compartmentalize me. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, I'm trying to think of the fucking, the proper way. Uh, I'm sorry, not, not the proper way. I'm trying to think of exactly what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't want people to change me. Okay, and you know I've fought so hard my entire life to be who the hell I am, and to say fuck you to all the pricks and bitches who couldn't accept me, right? And so I feel like I'm going against who I really am by me dressing like that, cause I'm not like that. I'm a t-shirt and jeans. I am a fucking street rat. That exact. That's exactly who I am, right? I'm an animal. You know that. So yeah. I, like, yeah. So, I don't want to go against who I really am. Because I know that I'm going to end up paying in the end. You know? It's the same thing that happened to me when I fucking couldn't handle what I did. And then I put myself in the fucking closet. I'm like, yo... This is going to be the acting career of your fucking life is to fucking act straight and be straight and all that. I mean, it, n hold on. Let's, let's, let's jump back to what the fuck I just said. Acting straight, okay? I don't act straight, okay? I am who I am. I am me in fucking carnate, in the flesh, in the blood, in the bubbling guts, okay? I am me, okay? Um, I, and and I, I get people asking me all the time, like, wow, you're, you're fucking... Well, I'm not gay. I'm, I'm I identify as queer. Like, yeah. Like, wow, dude. Like, you're so like macho. I'm like, I'm. I think to myself, what well, is it macho? Uh, it's I. I don't. I don't. I. Don't, you know, I. I really don't fucking identify myself with the way and the words that people use out in fucking regular life. Okay. I am the way that I am because of my upbringing, okay, because I, I, I grew up on a farm, I raised animals, I took animals to slaughter, I saw animals die, okay, I've seen people die, okay, my life 
in the streets has hardened me, okay? Uh, so it's like, I'm not putting on a fucking act, okay? But, what, what I'm, let me get back to what I was saying, is that, you know, when I, when I forced myself back in the closet, because I wasn't able to handle things, um, because all reason uh, went flying out the window when the shit hit the fan, um, I couldn't handle things, okay? So I thought to myself, hey, man, this is going to be the role of your life, dude. And, uh, yeah, it lasted. It lasted a while. But you know what? When I was by myself, I was like, man, I don't know how longer, how much longer I can hold this shit up. And so I think that's one of the reasons why I had used alcohol, too, is, is, is if I can, like, numb myself, you know, numb those ideas with alcohol, then maybe I'll forget it in the next morning and then it won't be, it won't be as important as it may have seemed to me at the time to express homosexuality within myself. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, you know, I just had this chit chat with my mom and my mom is actually going through, uh, radiation because she has breast cancer and um she was like she, she just turned 70 right yeah she just turned 70 and i said so do you have surgery yet and she's like no nah, but you know i get the you know i do the radiation and stuff like that i said mom you know that you could be living a much more productive life Okay, I, I, I fucking scolded her. I scolded her because it was out of love, you know? It was out of love. I said, Mom, you know what? You get this fucking second chance right now. You better start, like, all it takes is to exercise 20 minutes to 30 minutes, okay? Take a 30-minute walk. Just walk every single fucking day. It's all you got to do, okay? Con you know? And I said, because, I mean, if not, then you're, like, what if you lose your legs? Huh? Or, or what if you lose your vision? You just lose mobility right there. And then what? I mean, there's nothing really to hold on after that. I had scolded her, you know, and and she's like, "You're right, son. You're right." I'm like, "Yeah, I know I'm right, but what the hell are you gonna do about it?" So this, it's it, the way that we talk to each other. It's out of a fierce love and a fierce respect of not bullshitting each other it's 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 a love to each other for not bullshitting each other okay um and you know i i gotta say you know that's you know i i know i've dogged my family haha <laughs> dog wolf i know i've dogged my family a lot but you know what we're the only family of our fucking kind just like your family is the only family of your kind but, you know, my family's fucking real as hell, you know. Um, and instead of, instead of talking about it, because we're not really talkers, but we're fucking doers. I know I'm talking, I've got this vlog going on for almost 20 minutes right now, but that's not what I mean. Like, you know, we're not so much of talkers, but as we are doers, you know. Um, yeah, um... I remember that one morning I was I was nine years old or I was I was ten years old or twelve I don't remember concussion and then uh, 10 13 years of alcoholism uh, I was I was I was a kid I came woke up it was like 9 30 in the morning and I smelled bacon and I woke up like oh cool bacon for breakfast and my mom goes there's no bacon she's like and I was like yeah there's bacon I, I smell it she said breakfast is over I was like what she said yeah breakfast is over I was like, oh, what about me? She said, tough shit. And I was like, whoa, that's harsh. But at the same time, I'm like, you know what? She's being real with me. And she's teaching me that if I want fucking bacon, I need to wake my ass up early. And next day, I was the first one at the fucking table. You know? Um, yeah. So, I will do my best not to... Let the concussion and the depression caused by the concussion to get me down, okay? I mean, look, I, 
20 minute vlog right here for you guys. You guys are like, yeah, fuck, I know I didn't do shit last week. I didn't do shit because I was fucking embarrassed. I've, I've been, <laughs> that's exactly what I've been. I've been embarrassed because of what the fuck happened to me. I know it's not my fault. I have to actually see a neurologist now because I've been going to my, been, I've been going to my doctor and she's been, you know, she had this, uh, this concussion checklist of 25 things uh, which I may or may not have. And so she's asking me questions, you know, the first week after the concussion. She asked me, okay, do you have this, 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 this? And I scored 14 out of 25, okay? The next week I came to her, I saw, uh, I, and she asked me the same questions all over again. And I scored a 19, which was worse. And then I saw her this past week, and um, she was trying to do some of, you know, just, just checking to see my balance and everything like that. My sensitivity to light, oh, it's very, very freaking, it's very sensitive. Um, sensitivity to sound also. Uh, just uh, tender, really, really tender. Um, and then, so she's like, yeah, you know, I there's, there's nothing more I can do for you, but I want you to see a... Um, neurologist so I have to go see a neurologist I also have to see a cardiologist because I had some kind of boop when I uh you know uh concussion myself um <laughs> but yeah um damn so I have a collab vlog coming out this week um I had to blast hanging out with my collaborateur whatever you would call him collaborateur but uh and uh I, I i just had a wonderful time um but uh don't want to hold you anymore um take care much love peace